five ghost videos I bet you can't watch in the dark. Phantasma. Franco Villegas is a young Spanish-speaking man who appears to still live at home with his mother. In the past, I've made a couple of videos about his paranormal experiences that he had uploaded to TikTok. Basically, Franco has had what he and his viewers think is a spirit of a young woman who not only frightens him, but his mother as well. Most videos, this woman appears at the top of a set of stairs just outside Franco's bedroom, and seems to almost spy on him from around the corner. His previous videos were spooky enough, however, I checked back to his page in the last couple of days and saw that the supposed haunting hasn't stopped yet. If you thought taps turning on by themselves was creepy, you're probably not going to like what you see next. Sometime during the night, Franco appears to get the chills, so he starts recording while sitting on the edge of his bed. Now, looking at this clip, you'd probably think that his light moving and door closing on their own would be the focus here. However, what you may have missed is the woman who is now sitting on Franco's bed exactly where he was just moments earlier. Since this happened, it appears that he has moved his bed from one side of the room to the other, and I don't blame him. I'd probably be doing everything I could to move out of the house or apartment itself. Since capturing this supposed spirit on camera the last time, Franco has continued to see weird things such as the door moving by itself, his bedroom light flickering, and dozens of transparent orbs darting around his room. His TikTok has well over a million likes, but I still think his page is really underrated for the content he's been uploading. If you don't want to wait weeks for another update from myself, give him a follow on his TikTok today. Black Mass There are many, many paranormal ghost hunting or investigation channels from all around the world. Most of which, at least in my experience, come from America, the UK, and Arabic countries. So when a channel starts doing well from another country, it's always interesting. Take Shaolong Adventure, for example. This young Chinese man has recently blown up for his terrifying live streams that he often does on Bilibili, a Chinese video sharing and streaming website. Zhao Long later uploads the same videos to YouTube, which typically is where his avid viewers notice everything he misses during his live streams. Take his latest video, for example. Xiao Long and his friend Lao Dei sometime late at night explore an old abandoned, rundown building that they have to access via an overgrown field full of long grass. The hour long stream seems to be going well without a hitch. That is until about 35 minutes in, when things appear to mysteriously move on their own. You don't need that at all. Huh? <laughs> Hey, 
Okay. Frightened by this, the two men attempt to escape the room they're in, but somehow the door had locked itself. After a bit of struggle, they get out and run through the building and into another room, some distance to the one they were just in. But after nothing happens in there, they pluck up the courage and go back to where they were first frightened. Which wasn't the best idea. Now, you may not see it at first, but if you go ahead and invert the image, you can clearly see some sort of black mass standing there from the outside of the window. Not long after seeing this mysterious black mass, they decide to get on their way and run out of there. But whatever they did see didn't seem too happy with them, because as they're making their way out through the building, multiple objects start to move on their own, including what appears to be a small cabinet and then moments later a wooden beam. Xiao Long has many videos just like this one on his YouTube channel and has even suggested that he might add English subtitles in the near future. Airy footage. If there's one place in life you don't want to end up, it's most likely jail. Obviously a lot of bad things happen within the walls of a prison and for that reason the majority of society never want to experience being locked up in a cell. When you lock up some of the worst people together in one place, bad or negative things are bound to happen. Campo Grande Prison in Brazil became known within the paranormal space for its scary footage they uploaded to the internet. However, it was scary for another reason. Instead of seeing a group of prisoners fighting, viewers saw what appeared to be a spirit or spectre floating through and along the walls of the prison. Confused staff at the prison in Brazil raised the security alarm after mistaking the spirit for an actual prisoner trying to escape. People have since suggested that it may be the spirit of a former inmate navigating through the prison unaware that he has passed away. But who really knows what this is? I'd be interested in knowing what you guys think in the comments down below. 13 years ago. This next video comes to us from a somewhat elderly gentleman named Paul Sparrow. I mention his age simply because he doesn't appear to be a typical video editor and or photoshopper. Which is worth noting because the video he captured back in 2006 actually seems somewhat legit. The old potato resolution clip features Paul himself speaking into the camera while he stumbles through the woods near his house. When out of nowhere, what looks to be a white mist of sorts glides from right to left. Take a look. Is it gone? There was something there. I'm sure, I saw something. Where is it? It's right here somewhere. Now, you may not think much of this video in particular, but once I saw that Paul's other videos are typically car and or music related, it made me think again. Not only that, but the video was once featured on Maury some 13 years ago, a daily hour-long TV talk show which has been running since the early 1990s which I think makes it just a little bit more interesting. I'm not saying I think it's 100% real, but you just don't often see older folk posting ghost videos for likes and views. Once again, let me know what you think of this video. Real or fake? Georgia Haunting 
Mindseed TV is a very popular paranormal focused channel here on YouTube. Their videos are dedicated towards exploring haunted locations in attempts to contact the dead, examining cursed items, and exploring the deep web. Their content continues to amaze me each and every time they upload. Very entertaining creators. In this particular video of theirs, Casey and Steve are contacted by a woman in Georgia because she believes her late aunt's house is haunted. So, the team of two traveled out and did a little investigation. Andrea explains to the camera that her aunt, the former homeowner, Christine, had passed away a couple of months ago. And since her passing, Andrea has been living in the house and states to Casey and Steve that something about the house just feels off. There have been occasions where, like, if I'm asleep, I'll wake up feeling like someone's watching me or something, you know, someone's standing behind me, and, and it's kind of like your, you know, your hair stand up. Andrea also explained to the camera that before her aunt passed away, she would spend a lot of her time sitting on the couch in one particular spot watching TV. Before she passed, she used to watch TV a lot, and there's like one particular spot she used to um, watch. You know, everyone has their favorite seats. I notice now when I'm in there sometimes, you know, when I wake up, TV's on. And I know before I went to bed, it was off. About 20 minutes into the video, the team decide to give the old Ouija board a go and attempt to make contact with whoever may be in the house, which wasn't the best idea. Holy man. Where is it? Wait, wait, I gotta stop for a second. I keep feeling like a cold breath on me. Holy f the f is over there, dude. Did you just see the candles? When the candles got blown out, it was like you could feel someone almost like running past you. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it's if someone sprinted right past you, that leftover air, that's what it felt like, only it was ice cold. Very spooked by this, the two men decide to very quickly move on from the Ouija board. As they continue through the house, they pull out their trusty thermal camera and try pointing it towards the couch Andrea was talking about earlier in the evening. What they see creeps them out. Look at that! That's weird, man. Is it making a figure? What the f it almost looks like a figure. Dude, it looks like a bam like someone's look, laying. See, look, 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 look laying with their shoulder right over here. it. Yeah, yeah, like like this. What is that? This shit? looks like a head right here. And I can see a body here and an arm and like another arm. It looks like a person laying on the couch. Yo, that is like really, really legit. creepy. Legit. There's like nobody here. Yeah, obviously, dude. This is pretty this is pretty weird. Through the thermal camera, Casey sees what looks to be the shape of a person laying down along the couch. This is of course even creepier because of what Andrea had just told them hours before. For the conclusion of this video and much much more, look up Mindseed TV here on YouTube and or Facebook. Like I said earlier, their content is second to none and well worth a watch.